one of my driving forces is admiration or respect from my peers, you know, from, from other skateboarders. Because I fucking love skateboarding, you know, and I love skateboarders. I came into this world like a puzzled panther, Darby Crash. I was born in 1968. I quickly moved to Arcadia, California. I don't know nothing about Hawaii. I saw Jaws way too young. I do not surf. So I was pretty much a train wreck straight out of the gate, but somebody gave me a skateboard mag. I fell in love with the colors. There was an ad at Jerry Valdez doing a tell tap at Oxnard and there were shoes lined up across the coping and they were all different colors. And I thought to myself, fucking A right. Okay, let's go. Go catch my pie, oh pie, you cream filled man. Making a best friend through skateboarding since we were kids all the way until adults. It's a trip not having him around, and uh, yeah, it's it's tough. It's 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 tough to lose someone that close to you and have life still make sense, you know. Jeff Grosso turned pro because he had a year of being the best amateur, no one close to him. Jeff, you won the amateur division at Del Mar last time. Do you think you'll do as well here? I hope. <laughs> Skateboarding changed too quick for him to have his time and place on vertical alone. came back, became the voice of skateboarding for generations to come because of his ability to articulate and passionately tell you what it was. Tuck your fucking knees. If you can't tuck your knee on a fucking frontside arrow or frontside bonus one, then stop. Do another trick. Great skateboarder and my friend. Are you still watching this shit? Tur turn it off. Get the fuck out of here. Go skate. Fuck. <laughs>